Okay, well, so just for the heck of it, I've decided that I actually want to include a little house icon. And this is going to help us understand what happens when we try to put an image beside our text. So let's go on images. Google find ourselves an adequate logo, house icon, logo. See what happens when I get here. Mm, it's not being very cooperative. Well, let's see what happens if I look up house icon. See what we get. Mm, these all look too black. We want to get some color going. Maybe we can find something interesting here. Almost got it. I think I can. I think I can. Okay, that was kind of interesting. Let's view image. You need. In fact, maybe we don't even need to uh, save this, but we will anyways, just in case maybe this website goes down. Right click, save image as. And I'm going to save it in my bootstrap where I'm keeping the rest of my project. And just as with my CSS and JS files, I'm going to create an image folder and put uh, logo.png. So what happens is I'm going to go right to my brand and let's add it right to the header. Let's expand this header. So here's the collaborant logo text. Let's add beside it image source image slash logo.png. Keep a little space there. And let's see what happens to my site when I, when I load this guy up. Interesting. It's so big that it actually pushes everything down. So it's likely, let's, let's see what happens when I inspect the element. Okay, here's the image. The image is simply too big and it's causing too much of a problem. So what happens if I, on the element style, it's really cool, this uh, tool, the developer tools in Chrome, I can actually apply styles dynamically to experiment. What happens if I set the height to be 100% of the height of this page, not an absolute pixel size? And so when I do that, then I get something interesting. Now, now it actually fills up properly. Seems like it's still creating some problems. Maybe I need to do margin top minus three pixels. Okay, cool. Now it seems a little bit more centered. Maybe I want to send. Maybe I want to push it away from the uh, collaborant text. Margin right, uh, five pixels. Neat. And so now we've got more of a logo. What I can do now is I can actually um, copy these styles over. I definitely want to give this little logo some kind of ID so that I can uniquely identify it in my CSS. And then in my custom CSS file, I want to make apply those presentation rules. So I copied over that kind of stuff. Let's make sure the indentation is consistent. Save that. And when I refresh, now I have my bidness up and running. And so that's how you add a logo and make sure that it fits within your navigation bar and scales. And in fact, let's see what happens when I move stuff over. Still works like a champ. Okay, now we're ready to move on to the carousel.